Why should you download a web browser on your Steam Deck, especially if you can just use your phone? Well, it's simple, really. You can browse the internet freely, without needing a second device. You have access to basically any web service you would need, and the web browsers available to you on SteamOS work the same as they would on, like, a Windows desktop. The question then becomes, what browser should you download? That entirely depends on you. If you're the average user, you're probably just gonna get Google Chrome and stick with it. In fact, when you first look at the non-Steam Games tab, Steam will prompt you and ask if you want to download Google Chrome. If you're just gonna use Google Chrome, then just say yes to this process. If you wish to use a different browser though, then you'll want to say no. Or if you're specifically privacy minded, you're probably going to download one of the various Google Chrome forks that promises to be not wiretapped by Google, one of which being ungoogled Chromium. Or if you're really privacy minded, you'll probably download Firefox instead. The first step is to install a web browser for your Steam Deck. If you installed Google Chrome when Valve prompted you to in game mode, then you don't need to follow this step or the next step. But for those of you that didn't, or perhaps you just want a different browser, you'll want to go into desktop mode. You'll then want to launch the Discover app. Once you do that, you'll want to search for the web browser of your choice. Press install, and the browser should be installing. When you finish installing the browser, you should launch the browser to see if it works. The next thing you'll want to do is add it to Steam. In Steam and desktop mode, you'll want to press add a non-Steam game. Due to the fact that this is a flat pack that you've downloaded, you'll see it in an install programs list. Select whatever browser you downloaded and press add. Now you're done. Alternatively, you can go into the start menu and find your browser of choice. Right click it and press add to Steam instead. Now that you've done that, go into game mode and launch your browser to see if it works. It should work, there really shouldn't be anything stopping it from working. But just a fair precaution, you know? Now you're done. You should dress up the icon a bit. If you're wondering what this is, this is a Steam Grid DB plugin. If you want to learn how to install that, you should check out that video after this video. You have successfully added a browser to your Steam Deck. You can now browse the internet as you please. You can do basically whatever you'd like. But honestly, you know what I'd prefer? I would rather have each website have its own unique shortcut. It's possible on both Firefox and Chromium-based browsers, though the process is slightly different for both. There is one step that is required though if you want to play any cloud streaming services, like Game Pass or Amazon Luna or GeForce Now. I'm going to give you the user-friendly way of doing this. First and foremost, you'll want to install FlatSeal. FlatSeal is an application you can use to manage your FlatSeal's permissions. It's not strictly necessary if you know how to do things via command line, but FlatSeal does give you a graphical interface. Once FlatSeal is installed, you'll want to browse to the browser of your choice. In this case, we're going to select Firefox. From here, you'll want to scroll down to File System. In the Other Files option, press that Add button right there. You'll see a new entry pop up and then you'll want to type this line in. Take a second to pause and type it in. It also doesn't hurt to give your web browser access to your SD card. You know, in case you need to download stuff to your SD card. Now let's move on to the Firefox portion of this tutorial. You'll want to add a duplicate Firefox shortcut to Steam itself. And then, you'll want to modify this shortcut. You can do so in Steam by right-clicking the new shortcut and pressing Properties. These are the two areas of interest. The top is the name of the shortcut. You'll want to name it something like YouTube or Spotify or Reddit or whatever. The launch options though, that's where the magic truly happens. At the very end of launch options, you'll want to add dash dash kiosk and then your URL. In this example, we're going to be using Amazon Luna. When you exit out of that window, your changes are automatically saved. So now try out your new shortcut. If you did this properly, Firefox should open up in kiosk mode. Essentially, this opens up your web browser without your address bar, tabs, back and forward buttons, etc, etc. As if it was its own app. Pretty neat, huh? Do keep in mind that certain websites and web apps do not work properly with Firefox. As you can see here, I'm trying to run Amazon Luna through Firefox. The UI and stuff works, but actually trying to run a game through Firefox does not. I've even tried spoofing the user agent to see if it does anything. Sadly, it doesn't really work out. For certain web apps, you must use a Chromium-based browser, such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or any other Chromium-based browser. It's unfortunate for Firefox fans, but that's just the way things are. That's 
said, anything that you can do with Google Chrome can be done with any Chromium-based browser. You just have to remember the name of the flat pack will be different. The process in and of itself is very similar to how you do it with Firefox. You would add a duplicate shortcut, and at the end of launch options, you would append this. All of this at the very end of the launch options. Take a second to pause and type it in. As for why we use this window size, as well as the device scale factor, it provides the best user experience for the Steam Deck. All of these scale up the UI elements of these various different websites, making things easier to press. One more thing you should do is go into the controller settings, press edit layout, go to action sets, and then finally create a new always on command. This allows you to interact with the browser as you would with a regular touchscreen device. And as you can see, now you're ready to game. Unlike on Firefox, Amazon Luna actually works on Chromium based browsers. Will Amazon ever support Firefox? Hard to say. User agent spoofing didn't even work for me. But who knows, maybe it'll work for you. There's more to this than just playing streamed games though. You can also use this functionality to set up a link to something like Spotify. And even better, you can have Spotify run in the background while you're playing a game, jamming the music and playing your favorite video game at the same time on your Steam Deck. I bet your Nintendo Switch can't do that. If you like high-tech lowlife, you should check out the rest of my channel. And if you like the rest of my channel, you should like, subscribe, and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife. Furthermore, we have a community Discord server. There's a link in the description down below. Check us out.